All right, and five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. It's a very special episode as uh, I've been digging uh, Sabaton very much lately. We've done uh, two videos in the past uh, week or so, so I wanted to keep that rolling. Uh, a very interesting band and uh, fan base seems to be uh, very um, enthusiastic, you could say. So um, I thought... Um, today we ch check out a, a music video, the official music video, and I got to know from you guys whether um, music videos versus live. What do you think about that? Because I saw that there was some Bismarck live stuff um, as well. Is that where uh, should I check out live first or video? That I'm going to have to. Um, defer to the saboteurs um but the video we're going to be checking out today is called bismarck and uh given a quick google uh of bismarck uh, i'm told that bismarck is the first um uh of two bismarck class battleships built for nazi uh germany's kriegsmarine named after uh, Chancellor Otto von Bismarck. The ship was laid down at the Biom and Voss shipyard in Hamburg in July 1936 and launched in February 1939. Work was completed in August 1940 um, when uh, she was commissioned into the German fleet. Bismarck and her sister ship, uh, was, um, Tirpitz, were the largest battleships ever built by Germany and two of the largest uh, by any european power um in the course of the warship's eight-month career bismarck conducted only one offensive operation that lasted eight days in 1949 codenamed ruin Renewburg. the ship also with the heavy cruiser prince eugen was to break into the atlantic ocean and raid allied shipping from north america to great britain the two ships were detected several times off Scandinavia and British naval units, units were deployed to block their route. At the Battle of the Denmark Strait, the battlecruiser HMS Hood initially engaged Prince Eugen by, probably by mistake. Um, uh, the ensuing battle, Hood was destroyed um, by the combined fire of Bismarck and Prince Eugen, which dam then damaged Prince of Wales and forced to retreat. Bismarck suffered sufficient damage from three hits by Prince of Wales to force an end to the raiding mission. Okay, so very interesting. I mean, that's pretty crazy to spend all this time building this huge battleship. I mean, with all the uh, intricate parts that a battleship um, uh, entails. And I guess, like... Yeah, that's fa fascinating. So I, I just watched this uh, uh, interesting movie for the first time, and even though it's been out for a long time, called Master and Commander. And I was fascinated by uh, the fighting between ships. It's a very interesting thing, especially in the Master and Commander era, where they had like just some cannons out the side of the ship. Um, and uh, I guess in the in the... Uh, with sails, I mean, these uh, are gigantic battleships. They're not sails or whatever, but uh, any fight in the uh, waters um, or aqua um, uh, is all is there's a lot of strategy and stuff involved. So uh, it's a fascinating uh, thing to think about. So uh, also stay tuned after um, the song and we'll read some comments from the saboteurs. Um, on our previous video. Uh, so, uh, but let's dive in without any further ado. This is Sabaton Bismarck on Peacekeeper. So, did you find the boat?
Fascinating video. I mean, uh, no expense spared. This was a very 
uh, blockbuster esque video. I really, I got to say, I got wrapped up in it in the story, uh, watching this um, uh, battle uh, ensued. And so, like, it, uh, you know, the music was there and the music was awesome, but uh, I felt like I, I get, I got a little bit wrapped up in the the video. Do you guys uh, have that same thing happen to you when you watch uh, Sabaton videos? Like the the this was just so awesome and so interesting to think about. I got to say, you know, all these men 2000 men i think it said uh on a ship um oh man i do not envy those dudes i think that if i uh was going to be forced to go to battle because i'd have to be forced <laughs> um uh the navy would be the option that i choose last like i just feel like so many stories of um you know your ship sinking and then you sitting in a uh, a raft or a lifeboat if got if you were lucky enough to be one of those people for uh months and months adrift at sea until someone found you or whatever or got what if uh you know an enemy ship was the one that found you uh that that true story that movie broken um if you guys have seen that is kind of a like i just think that that sounds like the worst uh to be stuck out at sea um what is your guys favorite war movies by the way maybe you can leave that in the comment section I, i'm always on the lookout for new movies to watch i just watched uh, uh like i said master and commander uh dunkirk is probably one of my favorites i, I saw that in the theater and i was just kind of blown away uh by that and this that story is fucking crazy is there a sabaton story on uh bismarck or not bismarck <laughs> <laughs> on uh, Dunkirk and uh, that other one, 1914 or 19 something. It was like a one take movie. Man, that movie is impressive. And then there's the classics, you know. Um, I recently watched actually Full Metal Jacket uh, with somebody who hadn't seen it. I was trying to sh say how great a movie it was. And then I watched it and I was like, huh, this isn't as great as I remember, like I, I felt like it's still a great movie. I mean, the 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 opening hour where they're in in, in boot camp and stuff was um, so interesting. But I, it just kind of I don't know. I just remember it being a, a much more of a spectacle than it was. But um, that's crazy. Anyways, yeah, give me some war movie recommendations. Um, I love this. So. And musically, Sabaton has a lot of that power metal. Uh, some people might associate that with kind of like a uh, hair metal-ish esque uh, a notion, but uh, I love it, and uh, it's perfect. Like it kind of uh, encapsulates war and uh, what it must be like. Uh, it's kind of non-relenting, kind of crazy. Um, I enjoyed this very much. So um, uh, why don't we uh, read some comments uh, in regards to our previous Sabaton video. Uh, one sec here. Let me just bring that up. The Lady of the Dark, I believe it was, that we checked out last. Um, yes, Lady of the Dark. And we did the History Channel, uh, or Sabaton History, um, as well. Um, so, uh, but let's read some comments from the official music video. Um, so we have, uh, Drigger Dranzer, uh, says, I still think the design of Malunka is pretty similar to Floor Jansen from Nightwish and it's par Sabaton's bass player and manager that gives her the flag doing the for Serbia routine. Okay. Interesting. Lion from the North says great reaction. Sabaton themselves called their music genre heavy metal. Uh, I wouldn't dare go live in front of a camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I'm looking for someone to join me um, and um, uh, zoom in and uh, be kind of a Sabaton guide. That would be awesome. Uh, Alexander Roney says there actually is a movie made about her in Serbia. Not sure what it's called, but there's a version of this song. Uh, put two clips from it. Okay, very interesting. I'll have to search that out. Uh, Jenny Noper says, for a German soldier, you should see the animated story No Bullets Fly. Um, okay, maybe we'll check that out. I'll put that on the list. Anders Alvin says, power metal. Yeah, yeah. So this kind of feels like power metal to me, like, um, um, God, uh, Battle Beast or Beast in Black-esque. 
uh, kind of music. Uh, Freedom Hiking says, Haha, here, my friends, we got a character for sure. I agree. Not sure what that means, but I agree. Jody Hickman says, Rive, Rise of Evil and The Final Solution are probably the closest Hitler songs they've done. Pro-German songs include Hearts of Iron, Ghost Division, and No Bullets Fly. Um, okay, so, all right. Well, we got, we're making a list here, checking it twice. Uh, Maria Boland Eva says, Just Stay. And Bismarck is a good song for the objective person of German pride in World War II. And just fun fact, a lot of us feel pride when listening to Sabaton for the human sacrifice and will, no matter if you're Polish, Swedish, German, English, Australian, um, or American, and so on. Um, all right. So, uh, Peter Kinsborn, Kinsborn realized later that you did use the subs. My bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, regarding controversy, yes, Sabaton have been encountered heavy criticism at various times for glorifying war and promoting war, which of course is ridiculous if you take a closer look at Sabaton and their music. In Sweden, there were a huge debate regarding the Carolus Rex album, since it involved the Swedish King Carl X11. <laughs> It's at 12, and his reign during 1697 uh, to 1718. The king, this king, have in later years for some re really strange reason been connected with nationalism and neo-Nazi, so making an album about that time was quite a fuzz. As always, listen to that song in the history episode that goes with it, you will understand. All right, so interesting. Uh, a lot of great recommendations. Um, I can't wait to dive deeper into Sabaton. Um, so leave a comment here um, and let me know what you think about this or any other topic. And for Peacekeeper, I'm Nathan. Play safe. I can put my armor back on. <laughs>